Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at Node-RED Modbus TCP handling communication errors. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the first thing we, we will do is look at Node-RED Modbus TCP and it can recover from communication errors automatically. Options are available to you, to pro, uh, to you, the programmer, to continue the node red flow upon detection of these errors. Now, a broken ethernet cable, Modbus server power, uh, node red client offline, is just to name a few of the errors that can occur in an industrial plant floor. Our node red program must account and be tested for each of these conditions. So up on my screen here, you'll see that we have our our node red running on our Windows 10 64-bit uh, computer and this is actually my node red uh, sample program so what we're doing is we're reading uh, two values two um, holding registers so let's look at the timestamp and we're reading it every 0.1 seconds it's bringing in, in this in or activating this uh, flow then we're going into a function node and the function node sets up our Modbus read. So we're going function code three, which is read multiple um, holding registers. The unit ID is number one. The address is zero. And the quantity we're going to read is two. Then we use the Modbus flex getter in order to then read that information in. And we're going to read it from a click PLC. And if we look at the um, parameters when I click PLC, you'll see that we're using TCP. We, the host or the um, IP address of that click PLC will be 192.168.1.30. The port is default to 502. And then we have a unit ID number is one. Our timeout is a uh, thousand milliseconds or one second. And then we have a reconnect timeout of 200 uh, milliseconds or 2,000 milliseconds or two seconds. So let's cancel that. And then what you'll see is under our options of our properties, we have set the show errors or show activity, and then we have show errors. These must be selected in order to pick up those errors because we have to show them first. And then we have a Modbus response that will just show us what information that we're getting. And you can see that's currently right now um, picking up those, those uh, areas, those holding registers right now. Then we have a catch. And what the catch will do is the catch node will actually, we can select the Modbus flex getter. And if there's an error on it, it will actually trigger. And when it triggers, what we're going to do is we will send it to our message payload so we can see where that trigger is. So currently right now, if I highlight this, you can see that my message payload, everything's flowing correctly. So let's now take a look at our um, click PLC itself. And this is actually a click plus. So here's our program. And you will see that we have a self-resetting timer here so timer 200 and when it's not on it turns it on and we're actually uh, counting up to 9999 and then resetting and we're taking that counter or that timer and we're moving that timer uh, present value into ds2 so if we look at the memory address or address picker of this click and we look at ds2 and we can look at our Modbus settings. You can see that we have uh, the four here, and the fourth uh, four represents the holding registers, and we have number one and two, which is zero and one, for us starting with an offset of zero. That's our Modbus address. So we are actually reading both those values in. And just to look at our setup of that, this controller, we look at our com communication port you will see under our setup we have a fixed address and it is our IP 102 168 which is the same one we set up on our node red 
and our mask and our gateway and our preferred DNS server. We'll just close that down. And we will also look at our setup of our Modbus TCP. And you can see a port number one and it's we have an, uh, enabled on our Modbus TCP server. So that is all the settings we have for our Click Plus PLC. So now let's go back to our um, Node Red program. And what we'll do is actually take a look at the actual hardware that we have here. So you can see that we have our Click Plus PLC right here, and we're communicating our Ethernet port right here, Modbus TCP, back to our Node Red. And as you see on the left hand side, we can see it's actually communicating here and we're getting the values in. So let's test this um, um, program for all these errors that we can have. Now, the first thing we can do is we can disconnect the cable. So let's pull that cable out and with the cable pulled out you'll notice that my lights no longer um, are flashing so we do not have a connection and what you'll notice is that under my um, history here you'll see that now my catch is actually picking up that error and then throwing it onto the message database here just like that and you can see my status here is saying it's initializing. It's trying to re redo the connection. So if I plug that back in, and once I plug it back in, we can just clear these other ones here. You can see that it automatically now um, takes off and we start communicating. And you can see that with the Modbus response. Now, if we were to uh, turn off or our server goes down. So what we'll do is, this is our Node-RED server. We'll hit Control C and we'll terminate that job. So once we have that terminated, you can see now our, our information has stopped. Our mobile response is not responding and it will actually come back and actually give us an error, lost uh, connection to server, reconnecting. So this is going to try to reconnect all the time back to our server, which is currently down. So what we should do is we will call up our um, server again and type in node red to start it again. So there we go. Our flow has now started. And if we look back again, it recovered automatically from the error and we continue to pull that address. The next thing we'll try is actually powering down our Click PLC or our Modbus TCP server. Turn the power off. And once again, you'll see that we indicate here and our error comes up saying that we do not have communication. Plug back our server. And once it's plugged back in, we get active and we automatically recover. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.